Hey guys, Melena Scantlin here. It is Oscar night. We are here with fashion and beauty blogger, Rachel Demita. You can watch her on youtube.com slash R.A. Demita. Welcome, Rachel. Thank you for having me, Melena. <laughs> You're welcome. Now, Rachel, we brought you in because you are breaking down our best and our worst. And it has to happen on every red carpet, our worst fashion list. I mean, or worst dress list, more importantly. We're going to start out with Kristen Stewart. We are going to start off with her. And I want to say, even though she's on my worst dress list, I got to give it to her because she was on crutches on the red carpet. I haven't seen that before. So kudos to her for even coming. But this dress was not happening. Her hair wasn't happening either. I don't think her hair ever happens. So <laughs> I've never seen her with glamorous made up hair. But this dress, it didn't fit her right. There was like tulle coming out on the bottom. It looked great on the runway because I saw some runway photos, but I think the size was wrong. It's not her. She's not a feminine girl, so I don't know why she went with something so sparkly and over the top and ill-fitting at the same time. So make sure that your dress fits properly and it fits your personality. Next, we're going to go to Kerry Washington in Miu Miu. I love the designer, but you hate the dress. I do, and I love the color of the dress, and I'm glad that she wore color because we were seeing so many nudes and gray tones. Sort of Barbie-ish, though. Sort of Barbie-ish sort of young, the train for me just didn't work. I don't know where that plays into the silhouette of the dress. <laughs> and the top, if you saw her during her interview, it was ill-fitting. And her hair too, it looks so beautiful from the back, but we couldn't see any of it in front. So she's definitely on my list for worst dress also. Next, we're gonna move to Amanda Seyfried. I felt that this dress was very beautiful, though the color really washed her out. Would you the, agree? The color did wash her out, and I was so disappointed when she was on the red carpet because I feel like she's had such an amazing run mm -hmm. this year in fashion on red carpets, and I saw it and I was like, no! And even when she was getting interviewed, she was saying how the bodice was so tight and she could barely breathe, but then as she's moving, her the top of her dress was buckling. So again, it seemed like the dress didn't fit her right and the color and then the sheer going down the middle, I just, I wasn't a fan. It was a definite miss. All right, and your number one on My the number list one. is Anne Hathaway. First of all, she cut her hair. Secondly, something's going on in the back and her shoes don't fit. Oh my gosh, I don't even want to talk about the back. I don't have anything good to say about it. And I'm so sad to say that she's my worst dress because she's just, her career has been she's soaring. Amazing. But the front, didn't fit right, and then you throw on this chunky, sparkly yeah, necklace. With that, with that neckline was weird, right? Right, it yeah. was like a choker, and it wasn't flattering, and I feel like even around the middle area, it didn't give her that defined waist that she really does have, because we've seen it before. And then the back, I don't understand what the middle slit going up the back of her dress, and then an ankle strap shoe. Maybe she'll pull off the win tonight for best actress. That poor, poor <laughs> dress though, oh If no. you guys want more <laughs> fashion and beauty tips, you can always follow Rachel at youtube.com slash R.A. Demita. I'm a lot nicer on my YouTube channel too. <laughs> She's a sweetheart in person. <laughs> and be sure to subscribe to ENTV for all your entertainment news first.